In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Epson Workforce ES200 portable scanner with a Windows laptop or a computer. So this is a complete setup. So we are going to load the drivers and then we will do a test in the end for the scanning. So let's start the setup process. The first step is to connect this scanner with the power adapter. So you get it with the scanner. Power adapter goes at the back. Now open the scanner. So slide it and lift it up. Power button is here. So press it once. Once the light is stable. Now go to your Windows laptop. And you also get a USB cable with this scanner. So you can just keep this. This scanner is only a USB scanner. You don't have any wireless connectivity with that. So first we have to go to the web browser. In the web browser, type in epson.com slash support slash ES200 and click on the search. And you have to look for the Epson website. So once you see epson.com with name of your scanner, select it. Straight away we can see our scanner is here with the photo. Scroll down, you will see downloads. Scroll down until you see the download window. Automatically it will detect your Windows operating system. And here we have the drivers and utility combo package installer. So click on the download. Open file. Click yes. Click OK as we want to use this software. That's the installation window with ES200 on the top, license agreement, accept terms and conditions. You can also select or deselect options on the next page. Click next. Next step is to connect your scanner with your Windows laptop or your PC using the USB cable that comes with the scanner. So the one end goes to your laptop. And the other end goes at the back of your scanner. If you look at the back, here is the option to install it. Automatically it will detect the scanner and the setup is complete. Click next. So now we are going to do the test scan. For the test scanning, we have to place a document for the scanning. So lift it up. Now make some adjustment. Place the page here. So slide it in. On the screen, click on the next. Now go to the scanner. You will see there is a scanning icon. You will see there is a scanning button. So press it once. So that's a quick scanning. So before we can see the result, the setup is done. You can check for the updated software and click on the finish. The product registration in this window or you can cancel it. Remind me in next 14 days. And here is our scan. So this is the Epson scan smart app that came automatically up here. If we close it, close all the windows and let's do the scanning. So I'm just going to place document again and click on the scan button so, so this way we can do the complete setup of this scanner with a windows laptop or a pc and start using it for the scanning thanks for watching